Hello guys, welcome to my this video and in this JavaScript tutorial just I will show you how to make a key value pair of these two arrays. So guys, first of all I will show you the example, I mean what I am trying to do and then it will be more clear. Suppose guys, we have a two arrays, okay. So ARR1, this is the one array and in this array I will put some values like A, B and C. So I am putting here the three values but uh, you can write here the multiple values but uh, here I will show you the example using three values okay and I, I have a, another array that is arr2 the variable name and here I have some values like 1 2 and 3 okay and after that I have to make it a b c this will be the key and 1 2 3 this will be the value of an object so how can do that like guys here the expected output will be like this so here i'm just writing the expected output so output will be first of all object and the key will be a and the value will be the first index of the second array like one comma then the value will be the second index that is b i mean sorry key will be the second index of the first array that is b and the value will be the sec I mean second index of the second array. So that is 2. So same way like C and the value will be 3. So how I can make this type of out? Actually my one viewers face this type of question in the interview. So he requested to me to make this video on that topic. So I am making this one. And guys, uh, here I want to clear you one thing that is if you are working on Angular, React, any other JavaScript framework or JavaScript, so you may face this type of thing in your real life project as well. So that's why it is very important to learn JavaScript concept. Okay. So guys, here uh, I will show you how you can make this type of output, right? So first of all, guys, here you can see this output is coming through a object. So I have to be write a variable that will be the object so here i will write a variable name is result and that will be object because in this result variable i will print our actual output so the actual output is coming through the object so that's why i make it object okay and now here i will write a for loop because you can see uh, these are looping these keys and the values are looping and after that the key is uh, implementing as a uh, I mean the first array is value implementing as a key and the second array is values implementing as a value so for that I have to make it a loop so let i equals to 0 and i less than you can make loop any one array okay because you can see the first array is length and the second array is length is the same so I can make loop any one array okay so i will make the loop the first one but you can do the second one as well so length and i plus plus and after that here i want to show the output as an object so that's why i made this result variable as an object so i will copy this result variable and i will paste here and after that square bracket and just here first array first array's value you can see it's it's an key so here i will write the first array value and then i right and equals to and after that the second array value as an value okay so i will do this one i right so what will be happen so in the result so result is the object so in the object it will be printed like array one uh, will be like loop and after that array two will be two will two's value will be the same way loop and it will be make it as a key and value pair okay now in the console dot lock here if i just print the value of this result so now let's see we can get the expected output or not so i will open the browser and just refresh so you can see i am getting the expected output first array value as an key you can see and the second array value as a value of this object so this is the very simple but you have to be understand how it works if you understand uh, how the javascript works so you can uh, easily solve any javascript framework or library like react angular you can do that because uh, in the javascript 
thing you you have to be face in the rear and angular also right so i hope guys you have enjoyed this video and if you find this video is helpful so you can like this video and also you can subscribe my channel for getting more this type of javascript concept and angular tutorial as well uh, and guys here i was thinking to make a react tutorial also so if you are interested so you can write in comment and in the react tutorial it will be a how to route the react component and how to use the third party library different types like data table everything i will try to cover if you are interested so you can write in comment